Rivals, welcome to Bax Attacks for our Let's Play series, and tonight a first look at Admiral Lee, one of the uh, Ice Ancients with some very unique spells. Looks pretty buff. Alright, he's a rare Ice Ancient, and uh, sitting in defense, he's got the Flash Freeze as usual. He's got Ebb and Flow, a combination of uh, damage increase and healing when that's done. And his second spell is his signature spell. Battle orders, you can tell your units where to go. And in addition, if they get below 100 hit points, the building just is destroyed immediately. Decisive Strike is interesting. It's got some medium level damage and returns back 6 mana, but only if you destroy the building. So we'll initially uh, pop him up to level 6, as I do with pretty much any new Ancient. That gives them a starting mana of 1, so that uh, if they hit just one true portal, they've got 5 for their first spell. Alright, so we're not high into our win streak. Shouldn't be too bad a base, but our honor's been climbing, so even the uh, initial attacks have been pretty challenging. Alright, so a stronghold 11 here. Some free mana down bottom because of the upgrading Skywatcher, so that's helpful. We're gonna need that mana to power up his uh, spells. We can either come in and try to work our way through the bottom, or we can come up top and use the battle orders to put the uh, troops right on top of the stronghold. What are we able to clear out a lot? Let's try that second approach. We'll give them an ebb and flow, a little bit of an attack increase, and then healing when it's done. And we'll just send them all immediately right after that stronghold. And boom, it downs down almost instantly. I find Battle um, Admiral Lee very helpful for um, like war raids, kingdom raids, where the sole goal is to get the uh, the stronghold down. He's not as good with his follow-up spells for um, for getting an epic victory and grabbing all the gold in a base. But when your only goal is to get the stronghold, that uh, second spell is particularly useful. All right, a variety of uh, spell towers on this base. That's a stronghold ten. Seems to have a fairly clear path to the stronghold if we come in up top. A little bit of free mana, not a ton, but we'll take it. Alright, so we'll start with that blacksmith there, get the smelter. Going from here, where there aren't too many defenses, to give ourselves some time to build up the mana that we need. It's just a little bit too hot up, uh, up on the north side. I will see how multiple uses of the ebb and flow work. We don't even need the um, battle orders this time. But just for fun, we'll try it anyway. Pull all the troops in there. And we'll distract the defenses with our dragon. That was a little bit closer than I hoped for. But they got it done. Alright, and I am at stronghold level 9, so taking that 11 is pretty useful. I'm thinking I need a little, need a little bit more oomph on his spells and a little bit more starting mana, so we're going to pop him up to level 11 with some extra Ice Primus. All right, a Stronghold 9 here. It's got like a double ring, so the pathing of the troops can be difficult. With the Battle Order spell, sometimes you can uh, help correct troops that get off path, so that's handy. Or if we come in from the north, we only have one wall to go through. On most of these attacks, you'll notice I'm using a hybrid army where the 
Mauler is used to get through the walls. Soldier is an important DPS unit and tank. Paladins for healing, Wardens for shooting at range, and I like adding a Mana Hunter to the mix to uh, both to make use of um, the extra spells, and because in these first look episodes I really want to highlight the uh, spells and not the, uh, not the troops. So I need to make sure I have enough mana to be able to cast all those interesting spells. And there's a fair amount of free mana on this base, so that's handy. We'll distract the um, Curse Tower. Send in all the troops immediately. Get an ebb and flow going on them. And we'll repeat that as needed. The healing is kind of light right now. We're going to use the battle orders just to send them all into the stronghold. Take that down. You got to watch that the splash damage doesn't crush your troops before the stronghold goes down when you do that. Alright, we're going to try out that third spell. I was looking around basically to make sure that um, whatever I dropped it on, I could knock out. So you can see you get a um, six mana back when you do that. So it kind of makes the uh, kind of makes the spell cost nine instead of fifteen, but again, only if you kill the building. All right, so that's an easy cleanup on that base. All the mana we were able to get was very helpful on that one. All right, some pure primus, always good. And we'll hop right back into battle. All right, it's a stronghold 11. And we've got a couple of freeze towers. That's a bit annoying for the good admiral. And a curse touch. Knocks out the Paladin's healing. And it's going to be a little bit tough to get the troops where we want them to go on this base. We'll start by grabbing our mana. Thanks for the troop portal, and I see the Dragon Roost down bottom. We can get that too. Oops. <clears throat> Alright, so we're just patiently building up for our attack here. Alright, kind of sloppy with the dragon there, got him killed off. And now by putting the troops in there, we know where they're going to go. Now they're facing a lot of fire though. Let's see how useful the oven flow is. I'm waiting for the um, kind of circle, the targeting circle to turn orange, which shows that the spell is ready to be cast on everyone. After the new update, you can't cast it again early because you would just be wasting mana. Oh, and that, see that freeze tower is, is causing problems there. They've got two of them firing at different times. I'm going to use the battle orders to try to get all the units in uh, the stronghold at once. Now here's the problem. Once, once you've cast that uh, battle orders, they're all going to go for it. They're going to stop uh, hitting any other buildings and stop getting any extra mana for us. So we could really use one more mana point uh, at this point. But with everything focusing on the uh, stronghold, that's not going to happen. So pulling all the troops into where they can be frozen or splashed and potentially running out of new mana are the downside to using the battle order. So that was a fail, but uh, I'm including that one in the video too because I think it's an instructive fail of something you want to be careful of and try to avoid when using that rolly. Alright, while I still feel I want to improve my effectiveness using him, I do like him and I, I, I can't end on a, on a bad note for him, so let's see if we can get one more 
victory for the Godan roll. <clears throat> the Stronghold 9, we've got the two Freeze Towers, but they're a little bit far away from the Stronghold. And there's just the Cursed Tower down below. They have that wall trying to guide things away from the Stronghold, but again, the Battle Orders can help us get around that limitation. So I think we're going to come in from the south side here. If the dragon can <clears throat> take one of the blasts from the first tower before it fires on the troops, that'll be helpful. We'll finish getting our mana first here. Alright, not sure the dragon's going to make it back. Alright, so we'll get down an Emin Flow, we'll wait till we get to 10 mana, and then we're going to tell them all to go right after that Stronghold. So instead of letting them get distracted or going around the wall, we'll just go ahead and take them out. The dragon, by staying alive, was able to uh, keep attacking the Stronghold even when the um, troops were frozen, so that was handy. Alright, so basically Admiral Lee is uh, strongest when the freeze towers aren't a big issue and where it's difficult to get the troops to where you want them to go and you can use the battle orders to, to make the final push and the ebb and flow earlier on to keep the troops in, uh, in good shape. Alright, so that's our first look at Admiral Lee. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you like this and thanks a lot for watching.